Hello, my name is uh, Paolo Pio, Technical Marketing Engineer in the Cisco Data Center Business Unit. And hi, my name is Rick Walsworth. I'm the Director of Product Marketing for EMC. We are here today to introduce you to the newly supported platforms for EMC Recover Point. The MDS 9018.4 port multi-service module and the MDS 9222i multi-service modular switch. These platforms represent Cisco's second generation hardware platforms enabling the Recover Point with some tab solution. So Rick, do you want to tell us something more about uh, Recover Point and how it works? Absolutely. So Recover Point is a network-based replication solution. Runs in the fabric, connects into Cisco SANTAP via the 9222i or the 18.4. SANTAP runs the SANTAP protocol, so through the SANTAP protocol, Recover Point provides local site continuous data protection, or CDP, that provides operational recovery in a local environment, giving you any point in time recovery. That any point in time recovery allows you to be able to minimize data loss within these environments. In this, because of the fact it leverages Cisco SANTAP, it provides connectivity into heterogeneous storage environments. So I can connect to any type of storage array. In a remote environment, you now have the ability to be able to transport across a wide area network. By transporting across a wide area network, it does now provide the ability to asynchronously replicate data off to a remote site across distance. That asynchronous replication does provide WAN bandwidth reduction, providing cost savings out in a replicated environment. We also provide across a fiber channel network synchronous replication. And the synchronous replication is dynamic sync. So it provides the ability to be able to provide resiliency across latency within the environment, offering the ability to be able to support um, dynamic hopping between synchronous and asynchronous within a replicated environment. At the remote site, you do have remote site recovery. So it does provide the ability to uh, remotely replicate data and then recover data out of the remote site providing protection against disaster in a uh, replicated environment. If you compare Recover Point to traditional backup, traditional snapshot, and traditional uh, mirroring environments, what you get is you get significant advantages. For example, if you look at how a backup works today, you're essentially creating a full copy of data every 24 hours, which means that I'm going to have a gap of 24 hours when I can uh, recover my data. Within that, to be able to minimize that gap, you could use snapshot technology. Snapshot technology minimizes that recovery gap from 24 hours to let's say six or eight hours, but you still have the possibility of losing six or eight hours worth of data. So to address that, many people use mirroring or replication to be able to get data replicated off to a remote site. But even mirroring has its fallbacks mainly because of the fact that it has susceptibility to logical corruption, meaning that if I have a corruption event that takes place in my primary data center, I'm going to replicate that corruption to my secondary copy of data, and now I'm going to have two copies of bad data. Not a good situation. So what RecoverPoint does to address that, it provides the ability to roll back to any point in time. Think of it as the ability to rewind data to a previous point in time so that I minimize data loss. But what it does is it provides complete protection against logical data corruption within a replicated environment. Very powerful tools. Some of the use cases for Recover Point within this environment are mainly remote replication. So it provides disaster recovery across heterogeneous storage. In a local environment, it's an operational recovery. So it provides protection for applications against data corruption. Also supports for decision support. So I have the ability to be able to provide a refresh of my database environment or a data mart environment for decision support, and then also in test and development. So my test and development environments can now be completely refreshed, leveraging Recover Point for application testing, quality assurance, and development within those environments. And in this, you do have a number of cost savings that are, are possible with Recover Point working with SANTAP in these environments. First off, it's a disk-based recovery system. So it does provide faster, cheaper, and safer recovery than traditional tapered disk-based backups. You also have journaling technology. So it uses significantly less disk space to be able to retain the snapshots and provide better recovery than you might have with traditional snapshot technology. On top of that, the bandwidth reduction provides tremendous cost savings because what it does is it uses significantly less bandwidth to be able to replicate data across the WAN itself. 
So these are some of the cost savings, Paula, that you get within a replicated environment using RecoverPoint and SANTAP together. So if you could now tell us a little bit about how SANTAP works to be able to help understand how RecoverPoint and SANTAP work together. Certainly, Rick. So for RecoverPoint to work, the RecoverPoint appliance needs to receive a copy of all the right IOs going from the host to the storage. So there is a service inside the fabric that performs this I.O. splitting. This service is exactly called Cisco SANTAP. Cisco SANTAP takes each right I.O., sends a copy of it to the backend storage and sends another copy to the appliance. Then the appliance can do whatever is needed with this I.O., use it locally or transport it over the WAN to the remote site. Cisco SANTAP offers several advantages. Unlike data path appliances, SANTAP out-of-band fabric splitting provides a reliable copy of the right IOs to the appliance, preserving the IO integrity and availability, meaning um, errors on the appliance or on the path to the appliance don't affect the host IOs, and without impacting the application performance. Cisco SANTAP enables a scalable replication solution for mission-critical application running on heterogeneous storage. SANTAP is part of the storage services offered by the Cisco MDS 9000 family of products. As we said initially, these services are enabled by the new Cisco storage services nodes, the new MSM 18 plus 4 and the MDS 9222i. Let's take a closer look at these platforms. The Cisco MDS 18 plus 4 comes with the 18 4 gigabit per second fiber channel ports and four Ethernet IP storage services ports. It is a new service engine that functions as the SANTAP service engine. It supports SANTAP starting from version 411i of NXOS and beyond. The 18 front panel ports are independent uh, from the service engine, so the layer 2 fiber channel traffic is switched separately from the SANTAP level traffic. The MDS 9222i multi-service modular switch is a standalone switch that, with a compact form factor on the three rack units, has an expansion slot modularity and advanced capabilities that you can normally find only in uh, director class switches. It comes with uh, 18 gigabit per second fiber channel ports and 4 gigabit Ethernet IP storage services ports. The multi-service modular switch can be used as both an edge switch or and a services node for fabric traffic splitting using Cisco SANTAP. Expansion slot 2 can host any Cisco switching and services module. For example, customers can decide to plug in an 18 plus 4 and they have the flexibility to provision SANTAP, doubling the available resources for recover point or another storage service like uh, FCIP for Star Extension. In addition, both the platforms are fabric speed agnostic. Since the service traffic comes from the backplane, it doesn't matter where the hosts are in the fabric. They can be connected through a 4 gigabit per second link to a 8 gigabit per second link, or it can even be an FCOE host. The service engine will provision SANTAP regardless. Okay, thanks, Paul. That's a great overview, and, and I think it highlights a lot of the advantages within uh, both SANTAP and, and RecoverPoint. And I, I can imagine out of this, you, what you're going to see is you're going to see simplified configuration and fully utilizing all the resources of the uh, 18.4 and the 9222i platform it, itself. Um, the front panel ports themselves are completely unconstrained. Now you get full utilization of those front panel ports. And the performance and scalability across the board, from ITLs to IOPS to bandwidth, you're getting a lot more scalability now just because of the new architecture of, of the 18.4 and the 9222i. So it's very impressive. And I can see this now starting to be used in, in higher performance applications where you have you know, higher performance hosts, virtualized environments with VMware. Now you're being able to take advantage of some of the capabilities that are built into the new platform in these virtualized environments. And then specific to RecoverPoint, because of the fact that SANTAP enables now RecoverPoint to be able to operate in a heterogeneous environment, now you have the ability to connect not only to EMC storage, but also to other storage as well. So I can connect to third-party vendor storage as well. 
We can leverage the capabilities within RecoverPoint for the WAN bandwidth reduction, as well as provide the any point in time recovery. So to be able to deliver zero data loss within these environments. So some of the advantages I, th I think customers need to consider when they're looking at RecoverPoint and SANTAP as a way to be able to deploy their disaster recovery and business continuity needs. For additional information, we do have, um, there's a number of white papers for customers that are considering uh, SANTAP and RecoverPoint for the deployments. Highly encourage them to take a closer look at this. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, thank you Rick for coming over today. Thank you Paulo and for additional information, feel free to contact your local uh, Cisco and EMC sales teams and they'd be more than happy to be able to work with you and help you out. Thanks again. Thank you.